about it, guys. So I know I told you I had a Bigfoot story. I never really planned on even telling you. It's a pretty weird and kind of sad and scary moment in my life. But then my good buddy Alfredo convinced me to tell everybody. So here we go. Guys, this was a long time ago, back when I was like 12 or 10 years old. My papa asked me to go camping with him because he wanted to go mushroom hunting in the morning. So I said, okay, I'll go with you, papa. I like mushrooms. I like them when you fry them and butter and put some onion in them and whatever. Anyways, so we go out to the woods and we're sitting there. It's, you know, it's starting to get kind of dark and we already got our tent set up. And my papa was like, listen, Akuji, I'm going to make you a hot dog. And then uh, I'm going to drink some of this special stuff I got for my, it's my medicine. I, guys, I don't really think it was medicine, but whatever. He ended up drunk. He started to wane a little bit, so I went inside the tent. And I said, Papa, I'm going in the tent, and if you want to come, you better come. But he was, guys, he was asleep. He slept really hard after he took his medicine. So, I fell asleep, and then, I don't know how much longer later, I got woke up to something walking around behind the tent. I whispered, Papa, is that you? There was no reply. Papa, is that you? He said nothing back to me, guys. So I unzipped the door flap just enough to peek my eye out through it. And I looked, I could see my papa was still asleep by the embers to the fire. But there was something else walking right beside him, guys. Something big, freaking... Guys, it was a Bigfoot. I don't even know why I'm trying to explain it. You know what a Bigfoot is. I seen it bend down, and it looked right freaking at me standing right over top of my papa and that's when i could see it's brown human like eyes guys i'm pretty sure they have souls like it grabbed my papa flung him over his shoulder and before i could even think they freaking just melted off into the trees guys the only thing left was that nasty freaking trans-dimensional fluid smell guys it stunk it made me puke a little bit guys I ended up having to go all the way through the freaking woods in the morning by myself. Luckily, we were close enough to my papa's house that I could just walk home to my mama. And I told her what happened. And she, guys, she didn't even freaking believe me. She said he ran off with some hussy in Kentucky and did not worry about him ever more. Like, guys, now she has freaking Wandy. My papa was way cooler than Wandy, guys. Like, I don't know what she's thinking. But anyways, guys, I never seen my papa again after that. So I don't know what really happened. I don't know if the Bigfoot freaking ate him or if they maybe like mutated him into a Bigfoot. Guys, that would be even weirder. But after that incident, guys, I swore that I would catch a Bigfoot and find out what happened to my papa. Because, guys, my mama is a mess without him. Guys, I'm going to put my email address in the description below so that you can start sending me all of your clues and videos or whatever else you have a Bigfoot or anything like that. Because guys, it's time to put a stop to these things and to send them back to wherever the world they came from. Coogee, over and out.